Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. Two police officers and five civilians have been killed as armed robbers attacked four banks in Uromi, a northeast local government area of Edo State. The armed men also attacked the police station in the Auchi area of the state. Confirming the attacks, Edo State Police Public Relations Officer Belio Kuntong said the armed robbers used dynamite to attack the banks and police station. There have been attacks by gunmen across the country in recent times, leading to killings, abductions and destruction of property. Nigeria's House of Representatives has called for the immediate evacuation of Nigerians in Ukraine. The motion, which was moved by Representative Ahmed Munir during plenary on Thursday, had lawmakers saying they were concerned that many Nigerian students in Ukraine could be caught in the crossfire. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, agreed with the lawmaker Lekei Abedjide to interact with the chairman of airline Airpeace, Alain Oyema, to evacuate Nigerians from Ukraine by Monday, February 28th. The Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered the interim forfeiture of an Abuja property belonging to a former governor of Imo State and Senator representing Imo West, Rochas Okorocha. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, made the disclosure in a statement on Thursday, revealing it obtained a court order after showing the court that the property was illegally acquired. EFCC spokesperson Wilson Wujaren, who signed the statement, described the property located in the Garki area of Abuja as reasonable suspected to be proceeds of unlawful activities of the senator. And a high delegation from Gavi, the Global Vaccine Alliance, has visited Nigeria to inspect the National Strategic Cold Store in Abuja to assess and evaluate storage conditions for vaccines and the level of their usage. The inspection is part of an accountability framework aimed at ensuring equitable distribution and usage of all vaccines, including COVID-19 vaccines, donated to partners. And in business, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, says MTN Nigeria and Mafab Communications Limited have made a full payment of $273.6 million each for the fifth generation 5G Spectrum license. In December 2021, after 11 rounds of bidding that lasted for eight hours, Mafab and MTN Nigeria emerged as the two successful winners of the 3.5 gigahertz Spectrum auction for the deployment of 5G technology in Nigeria. For meeting the payment deadline, Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Omar Dambata, commended the two companies for their commitment, adding that this was a demonstration of a sound regulatory environment in the Nigerian telecommunications sector. The African Union has condemned Russia's attack on Ukraine and called for an immediate ceasefire, saying the situation was escalating into a planetary conflict. The bloc's current chair, Senegalese President Macky Sall, and Moussa Faki Mahama, chair, chair of the African Union Commission, said in a joint statement they were extremely concerned by the invasion and called on Russia to respect international law, the territorial integrity and national sovereignty of Ukraine. Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine on Thursday, killing dozens as airstrikes hit military installations and ground forces moved in from the north, south and east. And in sports, English Premier League side Arsenal staged a dramatic fight back as two goals in the final minute sealed a 2-1 win against Wolves that boosted their beat to finish in the Premier League's top four. Arsenal's third successive league victory moved them up to fifth place and they see just one point behind fourth place Manchester United with two games in hand in the race to qualify for the Champions League. Well, that's the latest from the newsroom. To join us in the next hour for more, many thanks for watching.